Hi everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I actually found a great family run estate sale this past Friday and was able to find some wonderful things. I'm going to show you the jewelry on the second video and um, so I'm going to show you everything else here. So with the jewelry and all this other stuff, it was $23 and there's also some one other thing, um, another tray. Not, not the Florentine, but, a, you know, one of those to, uh, hand-painted ones. So, <clears throat> we get there 30 minutes early. There's two cars there already. The owner opens up the, the door. I am already in the cul-de-sac. I mean, I, I just stepped out of my car, and I can see somebody who buys jewelry starting to walk in the house. And I knew it was in the master bedroom. Well, she she got distracted somewhere else. And I started going into all these bedrooms. It was such a weird layout of a house. And I finally found the master bedroom. So I had a couple of minutes to, with the jewelry to myself. And then I came out and I started looking. Uh, and here's what I found. I found these two swans. Brass swans. So they're part of the $23. Uh, I found this brand new thimble press recipe box. I mean, brand new. Um... Here's some really cute vintage uh, 1970s um, salt and pepper shakers. They still had this, the pepper in it. I mean, my, my inside of my bag that I carried into this sale had pepper all in it. I had to go outside the house and shake it out. This I didn't realize that these brass ones were there uh, or any other brass, but I found this. I saw this on the counter. And so it's a little um, duck planter. Uh, this huge Florentina vintage wooden, I don't know if it's really coming across. This is all green and then gold with red highlights, darker green. It's just, it's just uh, reflecting off really bright, but it's huge. I mean, you can tell, you know, my hand is just like the, as big as the medallion in the center. So it's a really huge one. It's very pretty. I remember these when they were first popular. I found another piece of cloisonne. It's kind of got a reddish kind of background with the flower. I guess it's just got a little branch there in the back. But there we go. Found a piece of Fenton, which I was surprised it wasn't in the pictures at all. Hopefully that's not a crack there. Oh, please tell me that's not a crack. And it's a crack. So I bought a piece of cracked Fenton. <laughs> Just saw that. Oh, that is so frustrating. But anyways, here it was. Part of that. I've got a brand, uh, what appears to be a brand new um, Waterford. It's still got the sticker on it, so nobody's even taken that off. Huh. Okay, maybe that it has the price on here somewhere, but it's a ring holder, and I don't think there's a price anywhere. No? Mm -mm. But anyways, new in the box, ring holder, so that's really fun. Uh, and then I got this brass owl figurine, and I always wondered if he was a book, you know, bookend, but I don't know. It's just a cute little owl. Hope you enjoyed seeing everything, and just as I said, the next one is going to be the jewelry. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye.